Um, this detail, this is probably a much more modern thing, but it's just a really beautiful thing that John shared with us. Um, so in the early 2000s, when they bought this house, they did a lot of work on it um, and found this piece of wood. That's the thing. I think on the uh, front of the house here, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so I'll tell you what it says. by John Drayton, uh, Friday afternoon, God bless the finder. Oh. 1906. Yeah, 1906. John Drayton in 1906. Yeah. <laughs> so who is John Drayton in 1906? Um, I should have printed that whole article. Yeah. <laughs> bless you. All right. There's a really great article that you can find online about who is John Drayton in 1906, so I'm going to read this for you. This is a common practice uh, among carpenters finishing a job. According to census records, Mr. Drayton was an African-American carpenter who resided at 5 Strawberry Lane with his wife Maria and their children, Katie, Ann, Nancy, Julia, and John Jr. He was born around 1860 and thus into slavery coming of age during the Reconstruction era. It's unclear if the surname Drayton was one that he or an ancestor took directly from their enslaver, or if the name was assumed. This question is one that frequently stymies efforts of African Americans attempting to trace their family genealogy. And that's what this article that you can read is kind of about that, how hard it is to trace these family genealogies in African American families. Um, so records about John Drayton are sparse, um, but census records indicate that he owned his home on Strawberry Lane, that he could read and write, which is also evident on the piece of wood that you just saw. And now I'm going to turn it over to Sarah for more details that oh, yeah. we 